Hello. You're welcome to another edition of learning how to model stuff on Blender. Um, this is Instinct Hub, and my name remains Shago, and I'll be teaching you or putting you through how to actually model um, objects in Blender. Now you might be looking at my screen and you're like, hey, what type of blender is this? Well, this is Blender 2.79. This was one of the earliest version of Blender. And I, I intentionally wanted to use this particular, I intentionally wanted to use this particular blender just to show you that no matter what blender software you're using, you could actually create amazing well, products or contents with them. So one of the first thing you need to do when you're trying to learn how to model something in 3d especially blender since we're modeling a human body today it's going to be a tasking exercise but trust me i'm going to walk you through it with each step all the way one of the first things you need to do when you're modeling on blender is you need to pull up reference images when i mean reference images you need to pull up something that would actually show you exactly what you're doing so i'm going to like switch my system to one that's my front autographic view now on my system my front autographic view is not working so what we're going to do like i told you in blender 2.79 instead of going to edit you just do your file and you look for user preference so under user preference you see emulate 3d mouse not this one so you look for emulate numpad this is it once it's done save setting and close so we're going to do that again and let's try it one yeah we have it done then through one and five so we have our vertices so one of the first thing we're going to do is just select select a to select all objects and x to delete them we don't need that yet now so the first thing you need to do is bringing out our um the first thing we need to do is to bring up our reference images so i'm going to press n over here so it gives him this bar here now this bar i'm going to just bring in my reference images there are two ways of bringing in the reference images one is either you go into background images and you add image but i'm going to do the fastest way that's the one i normally do by going to my desktop i'm just going to go to my desktop so i'm going to look for reference tutorial reference images because that's where i actually saved um my reference so i have tutorial ref now i have both the front view and the side view that i've already saved so i'm going to drag this and drop it here bang so we have this here so i'm going to bring this one too and drop it here now we have both on our screen so i'm going to close this now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set them up in a way whereby we know where the front view is and the side view like as you're seeing it right now these images they're actually getting in the way of one another so i'm going to zoom close then i'm going to click this key under this background and i'm going to make the drop down go down now we're going to look for which one one of the things you need to do is you need to make sure that the human face is right on the z axis this blue line so i'm gonna like push it okay that's up so i'm gonna look for sideways yeah i'm gonna push it sideways all right i'm gonna leave that down then i'm gonna move this one to that same point because that's the image over here so i'm gonna do side yes now we're going to ensure they are both the same height so let's go up let's check if they are same height yes they are same height so i think i have to move this up by just a notch yes now let's go up and check the head room exactly now they are same heights so what you're going to do now if you want to actually get a reference image one of the things i would advise you go on google and just search your 3d reference image front and side view you would actually get a lot of reference image that you could actually use so we're not going to model the head now one thing you can notice straight up from the back is that the the two images are getting in the way so we have to tell us our interface 
we have to let blender understand where is our front view and where is our side view so we're going to switch to our front view now to do that is quite easy over here where you have all views you click it because this is the front image so this is going to be on our front so you click it down and you say front then over down here where we have the side view you click it down and you say right now immediately you did that you will notice that our the side image just vanished now it's not vanished it's actually blender has actually created it in a way whereby it's on the side part now if i press three to go to side view bang now we have our side view right here it's there then if we say one to go to our front autographic view now we have our front view great so we get, we've set up our image one thing we could actually do, if you find out, you see that the background is kind of transparent and you could see the blender grid lines through the image. If we don't want that, you could just drag your opacity up. Now you can see it's quite clear here. Then if you go to the second image, which is if you click three, you could do the same thing and drag the opacity here. Great. Now we have our image. So we're gonna go to a front view and we're gonna start modeling. Now one of the first thing, we're gonna start modeling. And I, I know at this point you're thinking, how am I gonna do this? Well, what you're going to do is quite simple. We're gonna use a cube to model this character's body. So one first thing you do, like I thought you shift A, and we gotta to go to mesh and add a cube. Now, this is the trickier part. Now that we have the cube, what we need to do at this point is we need to ensure that when we're working on the right side of the character is automatically editing the left side of the character and you can't do that with just using this cube straight up like that so what you're going to do is we're going to split this cube into half so how do we do that tab we go to like edit mode so you're going to select this vertices here this here this here this here okay wait that's a mistake that's not what you do what you do at this point you do ctrl r bang then you create you create a loop cut in the middle then you come here you select this vertices here once you take out the left side of the cube vertices here ver hold down shift while you select each of the points and you do x and you delete vertices now if you look you see we have a half cube already here now how do we make this half cube mirror to the other side where we have a full complete cube very simple come under your a modifier tab here the spanner that looks like a spanner you click it and you go to mirror and you click mirror immediately creates the other half of the cube then once you've done that you need to you need to kind of like enable clipping if you do not enable clip what happens is that when you try to edit anything on this side it starts pulling off it won't stay together so you need to add, uh, enable clipping once you've done that and we go to our cube like if you didn't enable clipping this is what happened when you excuse me if you didn't enable clipping when you try to edit something it falls apart so we enable the clipping so from here we're gonna start modeling our character all right let's go